Hello, good day viewers. We have an interesting question here on the board. The question reads, if x squared minus px plus 1 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x minus 3r, for which p and r are all real numbers, where p is negative number, we are asked to find the value of p and r. So if you are new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload any content and don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Let's get started. Um, this is a quadratic function, which is a factor of this cubic function. So it means if we should multiply this quadratic function by a linear function, we shall obtain this cubic function. So let us come up with a linear function. Or well, you can see that the leading coefficient is 1. So even that uh, linear function will have a leading coefficient of 1 because already this is 1. So um, let the other factor, which is linear, be x plus e, where e is also a constant. Therefore, x plus e if multiplied by this quadratic function x squared minus px plus 1, we shall obtain or we sh should expect to get this x cubed minus 2r, 2x minus 3r. So what do we do? Let us expand this and relate the coefficients. x times x squared will give us x cubed x times this will give us negative px squared. x times 1 will give us x. e times x squared will give us ax squared. e times this will give us negative apx. e times 1 is e. And this is equal to x cubed minus 3x minus... No, sorry minus 2x minus 3r. So now let, let us relate the coefficients. But before then, I would like to connect the light term because I can see x squared here and I have another one here. So this implies that I can see that ax squared minus px squared, right? So this is x cubed plus... I can even write the coefficients like a minus p then multiply by x squared all the same because i want to group them together if you expand x squared times negative p will give us negative p x squared and x squared times a will still give us this then thus with x i can see this and this right plus let me factor out x so here i have one minus here i have a p then inside we have outside we have x if you expand x times one will give us x x times negative a p will give us negative a p x then we still have a constant this is equal to x cubed minus 2x minus 3 r so now let us relate we have no problem with this because they will automatically cancel they're exactly the same um it means that this must be equal to zero. The coefficient of x squared here must be zero. Why? Because we do not have any term in terms of x squared to the right. So this implies that a minus p must be equal to zero, which means that a and p are exactly the same. Yes. Then a minus a p, which is a coefficient of x to the left, must be equal to negative 2, the coefficient of x to the right. So 1 minus ap must be equal to negative 2. But we have seen that both a and p are equal. Therefore, we can replace this a with p, since what is given to us is in terms of p, not a. I was the one that introduces a. So I have seen that a and p are exactly the same. So therefore, I can say that this is also p, which means that 1 minus 
p times p is p squared equals negative 2. So the last thing I want to write here is the constant. This is our constant, a equal to negative because this is also a constant. Remember, r is a real number. So negative 3, r is a constant. And we have a constant here. Therefore, e equals negative 3, r. But we have seen that a is p. That is exactly what we are looking for. p equal to negative 3, r. So this is important. This is also important. This is important. So you, you can see the three important equation a equal to p, 1 minus p squared equal to this, and p equal to negative 3r. So let me go to the top and continue solving. So from this second equation, because I can name them as 1, 2, and 3, from this second equation, you can swap negative p squared to the other side and bring negative 2 to the left hand side this will become positive this will be positive therefore p squared will be equal to 1 plus 2 which is 3 right uh, therefore p squared equal to 3 and um, p is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 if you take square root of both sides but according to the question p is negative Therefore, p equals negative square root of 3. Next, we are going to find r. So we can use this last equation to find r. We have seen that p equal to negative 3r, but p is now this. Um, p equals negative 3r, but p is negative square root of 3 equals negative 3r to find r we are going to divide both sides by its coefficient which is negative 3 therefore r equal to negative square root of negatives will cancel automatically so this is negative uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 so this is r so we are able to obtain p and r p is negative root 3 while r is root 3 divided by 3. As simple as that. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.